the late 1930s, tension and unrest in Europe had made their way into the workings of the reviewing journal Zentralblatt for Mathematik, also known as ZBL. By 1938, the founding editor of ZBL, Otto Neugebauer, was asked to provide a written and binding guarantee that none of the reviewers were refugee Jews. Neugebauer refused and resigned along with most of the members of the editorial committee. Around the same time, forces in the U.S., namely the American Mathematical Society and the Mathematical Association of America, were beginning to discuss the formation of a new abstracting journal in mathematics. The new journal was named Mathematical Reviews, and its first issue was published in January of 1940, with Otto Neugebauer and J.D. Tamarkin, previously on the ZBL editorial committee, at the helm. In 1996, a digitization of past reviews and the second home for all future reviews was launched online under the name MathSciNet. Today, MathSciNet not only contains reviews of mathematical works, but also an extensive author database, full journal information, links to other MR entries, links to original articles, reference links, citations, and more. The Mathematical Reviews building is located in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and houses 75 employees, including departments for editors, acquisitions, cataloging, copy editing, production, reviewer services, system support, and administration. Each year, with the help of over 15,000 volunteer reviewers around the world and listings from over 1,900 journals, MR adds nearly 100,000 items to the MR database. But how does this work? How does an article go from a published journal to having a review appear in mathematical reviews? Like all good stories, we have to start at the beginning, the acquisitions department. Phase 1 begins with journals and books arriving in the Acquisitions Department of Mathematical Reviews by post and online every day. These books and journals are given a basic bibliographic treatment before being handed on to the Editorial Department for initial or pre-scanning. Afterwards, they are returned to the Acquisitions Department for a full bibliographic workup. At this point, an Editor's Box is created. This box contains around 380 individual papers and books to be processed by mathematical reviews. The items return to the editorial department where they are decorated, or given their classifications, and final decisions are made on how MR will treat them. The editor's box is then converted into a daily box for the rest of phase one. Setting up of the daily box includes clarifying information in each article, such as author name, and which is the first name, and which is the last, and which numbers are page numbers, and which are issue numbers. Once all of the information is clarified, the daily box moves to the production department, where each article is keyboarded into the MR database. From there, the daily box moves to the copy editing department, so the newly keyboarded material can be checked for errors or changes from the original. The next stop for the daily box and corresponding newly electronic articles is the cataloging department. Here, author and institution information are keyed in. An author may publish under a different name, a different spelling of a name, or under a name that is the same as another author. It is the cataloging department's job to make sure that every author is correctly connected to his or her papers. With the daily box, this means researching 850 authors every day. At this point, the first set of information, all of the bibliographic data and author work, is uploaded to the MR database and is available for use. Now begins phase two of the process, the reviews. The articles have been acquired, pre-scanned, classified, keyboarded, copy edited, and cataloged. Now they arrive in the reviewer services department. Here, they are separated by classification for assignment to possible reviewers. The editors then focus on their particular fields and choose a reviewer for the paper from our over 15,000 reviewers around the world. The article is then either mailed or sent by PDF to the reviewer. Once the review is prepared, it is returned to the reviewer services department. At present, approximately 95% of the reviews are submitted electronically and the remainder by post. 
The newly returned review is then keyboarded if necessary, so that it is accessible and editable online. The copy editing department now checks the review for grammatical errors and makes sure that the document makes sense. They also create reference links to any references cited in the review so that connections can easily be made within the MR database. The editors are also engaged in this process to ensure that mathematics appearing in the review corresponds with the original article. After passing through a copy editor, two editors, and a quality control test, the reviews are uploaded to the MR database at a rate of approximately 290 per day. When the first issue of Mathematical Reviews was published in 1940, there were already 700 subscribing institutions waiting for it. Today, that number has grown to nearly 2,800, including universities and colleges around the world. So how many individuals on the planet have used MathSciNet in their research, been reviewed in, reviewed for, and cited or referenced information in Mathematical Reviews and MathSciNet? We haven't determined a way to calculate that yet but I bet we would review a paper that did.